Morning everybody and welcome to Des and Lauren. Today we're exploring something rather terrifying and at least it should be terrifying to you and it's a development within SAPS. Yes, if you look at SAPS using eyes in the sky or drones and when they are training teams of drone operators you should wonder about your privacy and where the boundaries are. How do you test this in the constitution and are they allowed to just do this? Very grey areas and in certain instances I'm sure that this will be tested in court and that some very harrowing things will happen in the near future. I actually can't believe we are ready. Yeah, well a drone crashing on your head could be one of those. It could actually probably kill you if That's they forget to the least of the batteries, the least of the least of worries. worries. Okay, let's go. SAPS launches crime fighting drone squad. Just note how it's so necessary for the global order to ensure government failure so that we beg for this. Absolutely. Drone squad, crime fighting drone squad. It's like the drone can fight crime. So anyone squad sitting or hiding somewhere with a little control. This is a threat to democracy because anyone who rightfully wants to change the government in any way will be considered a terrorist and be a annihilated, vaporized uh, by these drone squads. The South African Police Service has announced that 13 officers in Gauteng have received drone licenses as part of a joint operation between the SAPS and Fidelity to make the province safe to Why aren't we taking to the streets? So, Let's. Fidelity, this is a private company. It's ridiculous. Drones have been cited by several public and private organizations as an effective way to combat crime, a.k.a monitor, track and trace every individual so that the government stays in power forever and forever ever and, and ever and ever. ever. Exactly. Last November, the Gauteng Treasury said that it would procure 10 drones as part of its multi-million rand plan to fight crime. Well, Cape Town beat them to it. Of course, they've been at the forefront of, of population of control. Course. But now Joburg as well. Moreover, in May, the city of Cape Town said it would use aerial surveillance, including drones, to provide visuals for its newly created gunshot detection technology. The SAPS and Fidelity have also previously expressed their support for using drones in the fight against crime in South Africa. We believe drones and the deployment of a mobile drone team not only act as a highly effective visible deterrent to criminals, but also assist to immediately track down and locate criminal elements. But they don't do that. that SAPS could is be not someone interested. Walking without a mask, in mm. a nature reserve, on their lonesome, on top of Tigerberg Hills or somewhere in Joburg on a mountain or in the Drakensberg that is not uh, complying with certain regulations, uh, you could be that criminal. This is what people forget. They always think of a criminal as someone that uh, has stolen something or uh, is running around shooting Murderer, people yeah. or something like that. But during the COVID-19 pandemic lockdown period, ordinary South African citizens that fought against the regulations that were imposed on them became criminals. So you need to think about this because next is how you run your business. Next is how you drive your car. It can be many things. Remember, SAP's mandate is to maintain public order. That means anyone disrupting the status quo, anyone going against the government in any way, even demonstrating, for instance, will be considered a threat to public order. And these drones can be used against people like you and me who want to maintain the integrity of our democracy. Gauteng MEC for Community Policing Faith Masibuko said that the drone skills learned by the officers would help protect communities and provides eyes in the sky for officers across the province. And they, they have a picture of the drones. You can go and look at that. And you will also see these officers proudly displaying their certificates. We'll give you a link to this article in the description below the video as well as in the first comment. So you can go and have a look at that. I pray that real criminal elements will try to catch these drones and sell them for scrap metal. Mornay Dutoy, executive manager of Fidelity Specialized Services, said that it is vital for partnerships to be formed to ensure that the Gauteng province is safer for all. Welcome to Dystopia. Yeah. Let us Private company. Yeah. Having a say. Crazy. Let us, through effective partnership, continue to join hands in ensuring that Gauteng is a safe and secure province for all. It is not only more boots on the ground, but we now also have eyes in the sky, SAPS Lieutenant Gen General Elias Mawela said. Guys, we are here already. Yep. We need to stop being keyboard warriors and actually do something about this. There are things we can do. We cannot we, let it progress we, further. Yeah, and we are doing things. 
just join us in what we are doing on the ground. There are perfectly normal, rational, legal solutions to this that's still allowed under our current constitution. Very soon these things might be taken away no, with indeed. many of these, like the Terrorism Act that's being passed. That makes anyone that wants to change the status quo, even although the constitution allows it, can be seen as an enemy to the state. It's an absolute disaster, but obviously the big across the world, the theme is using crime as an excuse to put forward this real-time high-tech surveillance system, very complex surveillance system. And what I have to say is leave me with the responsibility of defending my own life against criminal mm -hmm. elements. Give me the right to defend myself and protect myself. And this is a huge flaw in our current constitution. It's it gives government flaw. the right to decide how they should protect your life. And the fact that we've depended on government for so long has brought us to a place where this dystopia is now possible. This is worse than anything that's happened in the past 10, 20 years in South Africa. There's nothing worse that can happen than this technology being implemented with those in power currently who are nothing but puppets for the global order. So please share this video with your friends and family. Tell people about what is happening. Uh, how do you feel? about drones watching you while you are uh, in your garden doing whatever and um, maybe tell us in the comments if you've seen drones flying around already not chasing criminals just observing what is happening in your neighborhood thank you remember to please like and share the video so that more people can hear this message so people can stop thinking that drones is a welcomed change that's going to stop crime it's definitely not going to stop crime it's going to stop citizens progress in their tracks it's going to stop this democracy